ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the lair of the Film Exorcist. Tonight, we will be doing Wrong Turn 3, Left for Dead, a 2009 horror film and gore fest. Tonight, I will be giving you the plot alone because we sadly fired Derek. So, let's get on to it. Basically, it starts out with a bunch of kids going off on a rafting trip. They end up having sex, and they meet a grizzly and at Three Finger and his new partner, Three Toes. <clears throat> and we now move on to a prison transport, which ends up badly, ends up in most, most of them getting killed, and we meet up with our survivor from the beginning of the movie. And... It all ends gr grisly, gory, and only one survives. So let's get on to The Crew. It was directed by Declan O'Brien, produced by Jeffrey Beach and Philip Roth, written by Connor James Delaney, music by Claude Foyas, Ugh. cinematography by Lorenzo Sanatore, Edited by Paul Devalos, and film location is Sofia Bulgaria. Cast Tom Frederick as Nate Wilson, Jeanette Montgomery as Alex Mills, also known for her parts as Madeline in Black Swan, N Bethany in Black Mirror, everyone's favorite TV show right now. And Olivia Maine in This Is Us. Gil Colrin as Floyd, also known for Norris Boz in Return of the House on Haunted Hill. A sequel to a very good Vincent Price horror movie from the early 9th, the early 20th century. We have Christina Contreras as... Willie, Jake Curran as Crawford, Tom McKay as Brandon, Ch Chucky Venn as Walter, also known as Gambo's bodyguard in The Dark Knight. We have Tamar Hazan as Carlos Chavez, also known for Matthew in Kick-Ass. And Ares, the god of war, in Clash of Titans. He really is the god of war. And tortilla chips. <laughs> we have Lewis Cliff as Sophia. With an E. Jake Gordon as Tra Trey. Also known for Jell Stanley in Captain America. <sighs> the first Avenger. We also have Borslav Petrov as Three Finger, I mean Three Toes, Charlie Speed as Brent, and Borslav I Love as Three Finger, which will be seeing him again in the fifth movie. We have Mike Straub as Prez Preslo. Bill Moody as Sheriff Calvin Carver, Emma Clifford as Deputy Ellie Lane, who we barely get to see in this movie, and it really sucks. <coughs> now, on to the slasher stats. We have 16 kills, B First being Sophia loses one boob and one eye. Trey is impaled through the mouth and out the back of his head by wooden stick. Brent sliced in three by mousetrap looking death trap. Breslow's neck is knifed. Walter's head is shot by Chavez. Three Toes is beheaded after being shot. Willie has his face sliced off by a big scythe 
which we'll get to later. Crawford is dragged by Razornet. Like you'd see in Final Destination 3 with the red... 4 with the redneck. Sheriff Carver is impaled through mouth and at the ass by wooden stick. Floyd is burned with his money by a Molotov cocktail. We have Ali who's tied up in Razor War, which is funny because she explained earlier she does not like to be tied up. And it's all done off screen and we don't see her until later on. Then we have Chavez who is hung by a hook after a very badly choreographed fight. And has his head ripped open with an axe and his brains are in. We have one dead dog killed by Three Finger. We have Three Finger who is impaled with hooks and blown up in a truck explosion. Nate, who is shot in the back with an arrow by Brandon, and Brandon, who is killed with a mace by an unknown Campbell in the end of the movie. Now, let's get on to favorite kill. Tonight, we have Brent is sliced in three pieces, and William loses his face. Let's get down to it. Basically, I like Brent losing his faith because it's one of the more creative, and that's also why I like William's death. Here, you basically get an okay CGI version of three pieces of our actor, and it pays off blood squirting out from the, from the three pieces, bleeding out on the ground, and we watch as Three Finger goes after the body and licks him and tries to see what he can take out of the trisected body. It's creative, it's well done, makeup's well done, believe it was CGI, and yes, yeah, CGI has been used a lot, but this was really good. And on to William, who loses his face. Basically, we learn a little too late because the idiot decides to go on ahead against Chavez's orders while also trying to save Chavez. He ends up getting his face sliced off, but what confuses me is how he had both the back of his head and the front of his head sliced off by one scythe. We never find out. But the view similar to what we did what they did in Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the reboot with the little girl who blows her brains out, we get a great shot through the head, out the back, and it just looks amazingly done. Give those produ give that production crew a great big applause for what they did. And on to least favorite kill, which Deputy Lane dies by barbed wire. I know I mentioned this before that it see it looked good, but and hear me out. It was kind of stupid how we don't get to see. How she gets tied up. I mean, yeah, they've got a deleted scene of her that you can see on a Blu-ray, but not everyone has that. And all we really get to see is her tied off, tied up, looking at our main character. What's her name? Alex. Staring at her, and it's just, it's not really well done. It's an off-screen kill, and you know how we feel about off-screen kills here. They are not allowed. And I get it. MPAA fucked with them, probably. Trying to get them to cut it down so we wouldn't have to see 
all the blood, the gore, her basically being stripped naked, which we basically got to see her in a painted on thong or some shit like that, but that's the most we get. I just want to see the gore. Fuck you, MPAA. And on to... The facts, which we have a budget of two million dollars. The opening scene, which I love because of the interestingly done x file esque music we hear at the beginning. But the opening scene when the arrow goes through the girl's breast can be seen in a picture in Don John, the 2013 movie. Only film in the series that Declan O'Brien only directed and didn't write. Boslov I Love is the third actor to play Three Finger, and he's not the last, sadly. But he will be coming back in the fifth movie, as I learned a few minutes ago. Most kills in the series. Eliza Dushku again almost reprised her role. In, the mo in this movie, but no, they can't give us a cameo. They have to keep the budget down. Yay! And that's it. On to the opinion. I'll tell you guys, this movie could have been done better, but it is one of my, se it's my second favorite in this series. With an 8.5. Way I see it. It's basically a prison movie. Gone bad. They end up in the woods. And we've got a lot of plots that aren't really followed. Like. What happened to Al Officer Ali Lane? Um. We don't ever see the main characters at the beginning of the movie again. Who... Supposedly it was our main cast, but it was a fucking fake out by the production company or the writer. And we don't get to see what happens to their body later on. Um, a lot of great kills, but we did have a lot of cutout. Like, with Ali, I'm gonna keep on coming at, back to this, but... We don't get to see, we get to see Preslo, not Preslo, um, fuck, what was his name, what was his name, not Preslo, oh, Crawford, who gets Dragged along like a pig on a fucking hook. And they kind of made it seem like it was going to happen again before Chavez froze Alex off to Three Finger. But they didn't go for it. Would have been interesting seeing a repeat with the barbed wire. But we get nothing. Three Finger... He kind of looks cheap nowadays. More, like I said before, the goblins in Harry Potter and Gringotts. And it do it's just not a good look. And it gets worse. It starts to suck the makeup. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm not a big fan of the makeup. And... <laughs> <coughs> Basically... They need, this movie needs a lot of work. Could have, really could have been better. Uh, but still, I found myself clapping at the very end after enjoying the twist with Brandon and Nate and the possible new ooh, cannibal and also how I might have noticed that Three Toes almost looks like the baby that we see at the end of two. But sadly, we get nothing out of it. We get no word that it's actually the baby from 
part two. And the only close thing we get to a sequel to one of the original movies is the burnt down treehouse or ranger station. And that's about as much as they can give us so far. So it's up to you guys. The production company won't tell us if the baby is actually feet three finger in this movie. And I'm guessing she might have. It's my theory. It's your theory. Who knows? But I just pray it gives us a little connection to the second movie. So, other than that, really good movie. 8.5. And on to the, the news that we found later. We found, so far you guys know that, or probably already know, that Mark Hamill is our new voice of Chucky. So, amen to that. We got the Joker as Chucky, ladies and gentlemen. The famous laugh. And we even got a bit of a clip on it. Um, Friday the 13th, 9 through 11, and the reboot are on Netflix. First three Final Destination movies are on Netflix, and all the Jaws movies are on Netflix. So yeah, go watch them, ladies and gentlemen, especially all you Jaws, Final Destination, and Friday the 13th film m lovers like me. So yeah, guys, the movie was an 8.5. We'll see you guys next week. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Go watch this movie. And we'll see you next week with Wrong Turn for the beginning. Good night, goodbye, and we'll see you guys next week.